At first glance, there's not much that links Hamilton, Thunder Bay, Sault Ste. Marie, St. Catharines, and Sarnia. But a new McGill study says the five cities in Canada do have something in common. Strikingly high rates of acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. Many of these cities with cancer clusters have large manufacturing or petrochemical industries. The worst hotspot? Sarnia, Ontario, with a rate one and a half times higher than the rest of the country. But when researchers drilled down to individual postal codes, they found the north side of the city had a rate three times the national average. There's quite a lot of people who are suffering. One of the toxins released by petrochemical plants is benzene. And the International Agency for Research on Cancer says there is sufficient evidence benzene causes acute myeloid leukemia. The areas that were uh, scoring very high on benzene exposure were also the towns that were highlighted by the incidence of AML. That just seems to further corroborate the data. Wilson and Dorothy Plain live on the south side of Sarnia, on the Amjuang First Nation. In 2006, their 13-year-old son, Jeremy, died from AML. Even though some of these plants um, release, they say, a safe amount of uh, benzene in the air, to me, there's no safe amount. I always wondered in the back of my mind, knowing where we live and what's around here and all these facilities that are around. Does that have something to do with it? Ontario has the most stringent limits on benzene levels. But where Dorothy and Wilson live, benzene levels in 2017 were more than three times the regulated level. People want to think that they're being protected, that the government is properly regulating industrial emissions, and what this study is showing is that they're not. Following a 2017 Global News investigation, Ontario committed to funding a health study in Sarnia. Uh, we've committed over $2 million to make sure that the study gets done. We also brought the federal government on side. They're also going to be contributing to the study, as is the community. An industry association in Sarnia declined an interview request with Global News, but said in an email this study could play a role in ongoing research. Everybody deserves a right to breathe clean air, and these plants are not producing clean air for people to breathe in. The next step for the researchers is looking at where these leukemia patients work and exactly what they're exposed to in hopes of pinpointing what may be causing these cancer clusters.